Firewatch, a game that tells the story of a man trying to get away from life and the onslaught of challenges that it presents. A story that most can relate to in some form or fashion. Now most likely if someone is watching this, they haven't had a wife that got dementia at age 41, or any of the crazy life incidences that this game can present. However, most can empathize to the idea of having friends that just didn't seem to respect you anymore, family that was just draining to an extensive degree, or life's cup just overflowing. I think most can relate to the idea of wanting to escape from life's challenges. So how does this relate to this short yet beautiful game? I believe the game is actively telling us, the player, that it is impossible to completely escape life's problems. The craziness of life will happen anywhere and eventually you must process life. I think it's pretty obvious the parallelism and the recurring theme that it happens throughout the entire game. The main character, Henry, admits he is out there just to get away from his crazy life. He takes time to get away. Now Delilah, why is she out there in the wilderness? Well, after an unpleasant experience with her boyfriend being overly dependent, she decided to run away. This does not include the number of times that Delilah lied to the authorities and claimed she was going to avoid telling the authorities about Ned. Ned Goodwin, the man who let his own son die. Instead of dealing with the results of his actions, he goes out of his way to avoid the issue by making sure his secret is never found and never discovered. Delilah makes sure she covers up the fact that she let Brian Goodwin, the son, stay in the area. She tried to make sure that she was not involved as that was loosely hinted throughout the game. All three of these people had to confront at least some of their issues. In the ending, where you choose to go home, Henry is forced to go back to his life in which he tried to escape. He's clearly thinking about her. There's a brief scene where you see him in a half-dreaming, half-awake conversation with his wife, which ends up being a conversation with Delilah. Many dialogue options can show that he is regretful of leaving his wife. Despite leaving life behind, he is still in deep thought about her. He never ended up escaping. He clearly is remorseful and sorry for what he has done. I think it's hard to argue that he really did escape. Delilah and Ned are both dealing with the consequences of allowing Brian in the park for an extended period. Both are dealing with the consequences that their failed action of being a good father or being a good supervisor are about to be exposed. Eventually, the problems of life were going to come back up. The recurring theme is an important takeaway for the player. At the end of the day, the problems that we each have in our life will come back up and will not be forgotten despite trying to worm away from them. A geological fix to move away from the issue or to lie to avoid the problem does not actually solve the problem and does not allow for someone to properly move on. The three main characters all must face the consequences of their actions and their choices. Now there's a chance when playing this video game or other video games, the player uses it as an excuse to just step away from life for a little bit. I believe the game wants you to process life, or at least encourages the player to take time to process life. As mentioned earlier, there are many conversational dialogue options, where Henry says comments regretting his decision to leave his wife. He makes a comments alluding to where his thoughts are wandering while he's in this beautiful wilderness and scenery. Now, I believe this game forces you to experience nature and what it provides. When alone, Wandering through a quiet wilderness, one is bound to enjoy the current moment for a time being. But at some point, there is a sense of processing life and what is actually going on. Enjoying nature is an opportunity to step back from life and to process what is happening. In this short game, there are moments of just walking towards your next objective, where dialogue isn't even happening. This occurs more so in the slower, less intensive pace at the beginning of the game. When those slower moments in nature occur, there is a quiet yet peaceful ambiance that the player experiences. I believe those are the moments in which the player thinks, and it is when Henry is thinking, with those periods where the only thing being heard are the quiet nature-esque sounds. Now personally, I find myself enjoying the atmosphere of the game. But I also found my mind wandering about life. I do not believe that I'm the only one whose mind starts to wander when easily just walking towards the next location. Overall, I believe a massive part of this game is the relationship of the player and escaping life's problems. Whether it be directly calling out the player for playing to escape life, or indirectly talking about 
different ways the player avoids situations in life. I believe that the character in Firewatch who does this the most is Delilah. She runs away or plans to avoid every situation she is confronted with in this game. Whether that be her ex-boyfriend, the girls at the lake and lying to the cops, or that being actually avoiding the person she grew to have a relationship with, Henry. The game doesn't let you meet the person who runs away from their problems and awkward situations intentionally. I believe this game is intentionally discouraging the behavior of a character and person of that nature. We the player are told not to run away from our problems because it will eventually catch up to us or we will eventually feel regretful, mournful, or even disdain. Just like the job of Henry and Delilah, they are supposed to watch the fires and monitor them to make sure that they aren't getting unmanageable. But if they've run away the first sight of a fire, then they raise the potential of immense damage down the road. Intentionally running away from our problems often leads to great repercussions, usually more than if we just face them in the first place. There is a time and a place for relaxing and stepping away from life. However, the trap of running away from our problems to avoid them will lead to hurt and regret that could have been avoided.